Welcome everyone to another startup and automobile documentation. What we're looking at here is a 2014 Lexus RX 350. This RX is painted in the Starfire Pearl exterior color. It does have smart key access for the front doors. On the key fob, you have the buttons for lock, unlock, power tailgate release, and panic. The front door panels have storage areas. Power windows, locks, and mirrors, of course. Also have power folding mirrors. And three-person memory for the driver's seat. This one has a black interior with leather seat upholstery and ebony bird's eye maple wood grain trim. Both front seats are fully powered with two-way power lumbar support. And now that we're behind the wheel, we'll go ahead and start the engine, and it does have push-button start. Luxury crossovers. They are everywhere and immensely popular. In fact, in the case of many luxury brands, their current best-selling models are indeed crossovers. Today, we're looking at the first luxury crossover, the one that put this whole concept on the map, the Lexus RX. The RX made its debut for $19.99 as the first ever unibody crossover SUV to be sold by a luxury brand. Combining the practicality and high seating position of an SUV with the smoothness and refinement of a luxury sedan, the RX introduced a formula that would become a truly monumental success in the automotive world. On top of blazing the trail for the luxury crossover as a whole, the RX also gets the honor of being Lexus's best-selling model. The RX debuted again for 1999, and as of the 2024 model year is now in its fifth generation. Every generation of the RX, except for the first one, has been offered both fully gas-powered and gas-electric hybrid form. This 2014 model we have here represents the third generation of the RX, codenamed AL10, which was produced for model years 2010 through 2015. It rides on Toyota's K platform. The biggest update for the AL10 generation RX came from model year 2013 in the form of a mid-cycle refresh. Said refresh gave the RX some freshened up styling and some new features in tech. A new F-Sport trim level was also launched that year, which came with its own unique 8-speed automatic transmission and a sport tune suspension. The US market 2014 RX came in the following variants, RX 350, RX 350 F-Sport, and RX 450H. RX 350 models have a 270 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine. The RX 450H hybrid pairs up a 3.5 liter V6 with a hybrid drive system for a combined 295 horsepower. There were three different transmissions on offer, those being a 6-speed automatic for the RX 350, an 8-speed automatic for the 350F Sport, and an eCVT Auto for the 450H Hybrid. Your drivetrain options were front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, the latter of which was standard on F Sport models. Top competitors included the Acura MDX, Cadillac SRX, Lincoln MKX, and BMW X5, just to name a few off the top of my head. In the instrument cluster, we have four analog gauges, your tachometer, spinometer, fuel gauge, and temperature gauge, with a digital info display that can be gone through via these buttons on the steering wheel. It has a three-spoke design leather and wood grain multifunctional steering wheel. And as for controls, on this side you have your audio controls. On this side, you have your information display controls along with your voice control and Bluetooth controls. And on this stock right here, you have your cruise control. 
The steering wheel is power, tilt, and telescopic. The parking brake is foot operated. Your panel dimmer, you can go between trip and odometer. This button. Fuel door release, blind spot monitoring toggle, power tailgate release. A cup holder for the driver and a climate vent for the driver. On this side is your exterior lighting stock. And on this side is your wiper stock. Going down the center of the interior, you have the screen for your Inform infotainment system. We'll go over that system more in a bit. Climate vents. Hazards. You have a set of physical radio controls, volume power tuning, along with your CD player, radio and media shortcuts. Right here is your whole set of dual zone automatic climate controls, temperature on either side, fan speed, auto, off, front and rear defrost, heated mirrors, digital clock, Entering reverse does reveal a backup camera. Storage below here, along with a power outlet. Just behind the shifter, this is your main control for the Inform infotainment system. It is not a touchscreen. Instead, you have a couple shortcut buttons and this joystick that you move around like a computer mouse. We'll go to the system again more in a bit. Two cup holders, traction control, all-wheel drive lock, and you also have the controls for your three-stage heated and cooled front seats. Center console with some storage along with a USB port, an aux port, and another 12-volt power outlet. The glove box is lockable. Both sun visors have vanity mirrors and lights. Auto dimming rear view with garage home link. Grab handles on all four corners. Overhead lighting. Your power sunroof controls. And here is that Inform infotainment system. And it's exclusively controlled via this. So we're on the home screen of sorts. You have your nav map right there. Um, push this menu button to take you, well, to, to your main home screen now. There's a lot of stuff in this system. I'm not gonna be able to go through all of it, especially because the battery is almost dead on this camcorder. But you have destinations and you have to, like say, move this like a computer mouse, this joystick. Now, I have not heard the best things about this. Lexus has been, they have been doing this for a while. I think they just recently went back to regular touch screens, but people don't really care for this setup. And I, I can understand it's, you can get used to it, but I can completely understand how cumbersome it could seem. But nonetheless, you have like Sirius XM traveling stuff so you can go your local fuel prices, weather, that kind of thing. If you've got a subscription, that was your navigation. Um, quickly show the navigation map. And this is just scratching the surface with this system, kind of rushing through it. Setup has all sorts of things corresponding to your Bluetooth, your phone, and navigation system, vehicle. And as for radio, you have AM, FM, plus Sirius XM, Bluetooth audio streaming as well, plus that CD player. Get your sound settings. Then you have your climate controls. You can control that via this screen as well. And then your phone stuff. Now we'll roll down the driver's window and have a look at the engine bay. All four windows are fully automatic.
This RX rides on these optional 19-inch 5 triple split-spoke alloy rims. Powering the RX350 is Toyota's 2GR FE 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. It's an all aluminum power plant with dual overhead camshafts, four valves per cylinder, and dual VVTi technology. Horsepower is rated at 270 at 6200 RPM, while torque is rated at 248 pound feet at 4700 RPM. This engine is paired to a six speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability, and power in this RX is sent to all four wheels via the optional all wheel drive system. Running on regular unleaded with a 19.2 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates are 18 mpg on the city and 24 mpg on the highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a double wishbone rear suspension. Stopping the RX are four wheel disc brakes with vented front rotors. Curb weight is somewhere around 4,300 pounds for all wheel drive models. It can also tow up to 3,500 pounds. Fuel cap is on the driver's side, roof racks, bottle holders, sixty forty split folding rear seats. Both front seats do have map pockets in the backs. Rear passengers do get their own set of climate vents, as well as a folding center armrest with two cup holders and some storage. Coat hooks. I love the nice velour headliner trim. Even on the B pillars and A pillars, feels very high class. That's par for the course with Lexus interiors. They all are just great. I love Le Lexus. has got to be my favorite luxury brand. The space back here, I'm about 6'1", with the driver in, driver's seat in a comfortable position. Space is no problem. Um, the seats, the back seats are kind of lower down than I would like. But other than that, headroom's really good. And then leg room and foot room is pretty decent. But everything, you know, Lexus interiors, I just cannot say enough about them. Like, every Lexus I get into, the whole entire door panel is just nice padded leather and wood everywhere. Just the ultimate, Lexus is just like the ultimate best of both worlds kind of car, no matter which one you get. Because you get the reliability, peace of mind of Toyota powertrains and mechanicals, and then just beautiful, luxurious interiors. I love Lexus. Single exhaust. Hidden rear wiper underneath the spoiler. Cargo space in the RX is 40 cubic feet with the back seats up. And after you fold the back seats down, you then get 80.3 cubic feet.
cargo cover, first aid kit still in here, subwoofer, Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2014 Lexus RX 350. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.